Littleton Coffee Company owner Stephen Matia has copped it today after he put up a sign saying they don't do trim milk. Copped it. But rather than not offering customers a choice between trim and full fat milk, it's actually a case of there never having been a choice. The Littleton Coffee Company offers a different experience altogether. I asked co-owner Stephen Matia to tell me the real story. Well, the whole story is that I know a guy that's got a herd of cows and they're all kind of different breeds, kind of a mongrel herd, and he, um, he supplies us milk in um, these containers. If you can see behind me, it's a 15-litre container that we came up with um, just basically to get rid of our plastic packaging and to use a whole milk product that's not homogenised with our coffee. So wait a sec, so you were sourcing this milk from a local farmer. Where is he? He's in Oxford. So it's not you being difficult, it's not you being uh, rude, it's simply that you're sourcing milk in the most environmentally friendly way and that milk comes as one variety only. Yeah, I didn't really tell people too much about what we were doing. Um, it's just that it was a personal choice. I mean, I don't like putting two to three hundred plastic containers out the back of the building every week. So, uh, so are you rude? Um, I, I definitely, if someone picks a fight with me, I fight. <laughs> but were you, pick, were you picking a fight here, Stephen? I think you were just quietly minding your own business, weren't uh, you? Yeah, I didn't pick a fight, no. I, I was just doing my thing. Um, I did make a comment about how I personally don't like trim milk. Um, thank you. Yeah, I made that comment. Uh, can't take that back. But that's not what this is about, right? This is simply about you sourcing in an environmentally friendly manner from a farmer in Oxford who provides one type of milk and it's not trim milk. Is it that simple? Yeah, I'm, yeah well, if, it, it, it sort of attaches itself to our, you know, low, f small footprint that we're trying to do in our cafe, which I don't want to go on about because everyone tries, you know, and we, we do recycle best we can and we try not to use too much packaging um, and yeah we've got a few things we do like free range stuff and um, compostable cups and you know we, we do try. How long have you been serving that milk for in your coffee? Um, well we haven't had trim ever and then when we changed to that milk about six months ago uh, because the stainless steel containers were, f were finally made and they, they worked um, yeah, six months, and we thought, oh, how are we going to lug these big 15-litre uh, 15 15 stainless steel containers around? And it's all just sort of worked out, and they work great. I'm, I'm really happy with them. And by and large, are your customers OK with it? They love it. I mean, we, we don't not have customers. We've got a really great customer base. I, I love coming to work. <laughs> I, like, I like the people here. Just out of interest, this is a question from an Aucklander, although Wellingtonians will be interested too, I'm sure. What are you charging for a flat, for a flat white there? That's pretty funny, because um, I can't remember. <laughs> Four dollars. Yeah. Four dollars <laughs> for special Oxford milk and no plastic involved. Which is better business in terms of the money you make? Sourcing this milk from Oxford in these 15 big tin containers which have no uh, plastic involved or just buying lots of milk and having it delivered in the back of a Fonterra truck or whatever in plastic? Well, it's far cheaper to get it from the big company um, but I, I, I really, I'm really enjoying the relationship with the farmer.